YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What is going on? What it do? This is your boy DIY Car coming back to y'all with another video. Another UA video that is. Get that out of the way right now so y'all know ahead of time. This is a UA video. But I do want to thank you to everybody that's been watching the video, subscribing to the channel, commenting on the channel. Good or bad, it doesn't really matter. It still helps me continue to do these videos for y'all. Because like I say in every video, I'm still learning while I'm teaching y'all at the same time on UAs, reps, fakes, however you want to call it. They still came from the same factory. And I will fight anybody on that in the comments if y'all want to go at it. But it's not about that. This is an informational video. This is my opinion only on these shoes. I'm merely still teaching myself and teach y'all at the same time. Like I said, UAs, reps, fakes, whatever you want to call them, choose. It's your choice. I don't really care. They're UAs to me and they look simply identical to the actual pairs. But I want to get this out there. I don't know what it is when it comes to men and hating so much, but I do not see that coming from women. Only men. Y'all feel like every shoe that y'all get has to have that name on it. You have to get it from the store. Well, essentially, y'all rather overpay, spend all that bread on a shoe that don't last long. Y'all dirty them up after one or two wears, and then y'all don't really wear them no more. And this goes for sneakerheads too. I'm one of them. Y'all, y'all do the same thing. Y'all buy the shoes, spend all that money just for it to sit in a box. You're gonna do that to each his own. But again, I don't hear that from women. Women do not care if the shoe is a UA fake rep. And I'm saying that to say because I see so many women doing UA reviews, rep reviews from different companies, from BH Gate, And it's simply because they don't care as much as men. So y'all gotta get out y'all head. I just wanna get, out, get that out there, get that out the way, because that's all I get the hate from, it's men. Now I'm gonna move on and get to this review. I'm not gonna keep ranting on that. So again, get out your head, stop hating. But the shoe we are talking about today is going to be a Retro 17 Lowe's. Last time the shoe released was in 2002. That was the first time they ever released a Retro 17 when Michael Jordan himself came back to play for the Washington Wizards. At that time, the shoe was not on my radar. so didn't too much care about it at that time but as you can see starting at the back got that new buck with the Jordan logo in the middle you got that chrome around the hill with Jordan and the logo on that side also below that you gonna have the air bubble that you can see through the Carolina blue plastic and on the outsole it is a split outsole with herringbone material that looks like the um, golf course because y'all know Jordan like the golf super clean shoe go into the upper it is a tumble white leather as you see that toe box does bounce back And before I get too far into it, this came from the good people over at Pancake.ru. Once again, they made a wonderful shoe. So shout out to them. This shoe does not have any glue lines, does not smell, nothing to complain about whatsoever. At least as far as I've went over, 
everything's good to go straight out the box. As you see, it has the chrome eyelids. This eyelid itself has Jordan on it. Get you a look close up on that. On the front of the shoe, has Jordan 17 on the side. Has that front Carolina guard with 23 below it. Again, 17 lows. So you can wear it like this, or you can wear it like that. And it's supposed to be considered a mid, but this does not support your ankle. So just keep that in mind if y'all play in Jordans like me, it does not support your ankle. Going to the other one, as you see that has the pill off still on it. So it did come with that out the box. Same thing, hair and bone outsole with the split outsole with carbon fiber in the middle and at the forefoot you do have an air unit also laces are not the plastic tips they have the metal lace tips with the oval laces in it they do come with paper in the inside That's gonna be both of them together. Cool shoe, like super cool. Comes with the, I think we got this box in like early 2000s if I'm not mistaken. But this paper came inside my size, size 10. They do fit true to size. I tried them on straight out the box, no complaints. There's no bumps, no nothing that will jab you in your feet. No problems. But if y'all got any questions, any concerns, anything y'all want to talk about, hit the comments below or hit me on my Instagram, jstarsvlogs. We can chat there too. But that is all I have. This is your boy, DIY Kari, signing out. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification because your boy got more videos on the way. Peace.